guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to a new video. Today, we're reviewing two Jurassic World Legacy Collection human figures, Dr. Ellie Sattler and Dr. Ian Malcolm. First, let's start with, hmm, which one? Uh, Ellie Sattler. I love the way they did the Legacy Collection packaging with like all those different colors, the T-Rex, and everything from the gate. It's all just, it's really good. Right here, it names off the figure, Dr. Ellie Sattler. Turning it to the back, it gives you a demonstration of the figure with a bunch of comp compsognathus, kind of hard to pronounce, or compies, that's what most people call them. And then right here is a window of the figure, well, I mean, not necessarily window, like profile of the figure. So here it is, unboxed and ready to review. So overall, this is a pretty cool figure. And I love how one of her accessories is a compi. It's pretty cool, it's kind of in an awkward position, but it's still pretty cool. Like you can make it look like it's running, Never mind, it fell down. Another accessory is a flashlight. It's really cool, it's really detailed, it looks just like from the movie. And I love how the light part of the flashlight is silver metallic paint. So it actually reflects light, so it looks like it's a flashlight that actually works. The Compsognathus is actually decently detailed for its size. It's actually made of a soft rubber, so you could like close its mouth and everything, like make it chomp, but you can't hold its position, unfortunately. It'd be cool if there was like a bendy wire inside of it. But yeah, the neck is a little bit long, but there is really nice detail on the figure, again. The face on the figure itself is nicely detailed, but if you notice, it's actually printed, not hand-painted. I think it'd be very overkill to try and hand-paint every single figure that would be distributed across the United States. That would be crazy. But everything is nicely done overall. You can see the eyes, the eyebrows, the nose and the lips. Everything is nicely pronounced. Going over her costume, she's wearing a red jacket with a blue undershirt and then khaki shorts with a brown belt, completed with dark brown boots. However, the hair is a little bit strange. It's too light and it looks like a helmet. Oh no, it can't really balance that well, which is unfortunate, but the hair is a little bit too light. I wish they could have added maybe some highlights of darker colors to make it look a little bit more realistic, but overall the paint is pretty good. The articulation is pretty decent. It's like any other figure in the line. The head can go all the way around. And if you mess with it around, it can also tilt just a little bit from side to side. So you could look up just a little bit. You can look down just a little bit. And then the shoulders are a hinge joint as well as a ball joint so it can swivel. And then the elbow is a really stiff hinge joint, which can, by the way, swivel. And if you notice, it's actually made of a really plasticky rubber. And moving down to the legs, they can make a very painful looking split because it's a hinge joint. And then moving down to the knee, it is also a hinge joint, which is attached to a ball joint so it can swivel 360 degrees. And at last, there's some pelvic articulation so we can swivel all the way around, which is pretty useful for posing. I'm sure it also has something to do with helping it balance. So that was Ellie Sattler. Now let's take a look at Dr. Ian Malcolm. The packaging is just the same as all the other Legacy Collection. You can see like the T-Rex, Dr. Ian Malcolm, everything. Then turning it around, you can see a demonstration, then the character window or whatever you want to call it. So here is Dr. Ian Malcolm out of the box. Now I'm not gonna lie, this one is so much easier to balance because the legs, I mean the feet are bigger. Same with the Comsognathus, it's in a better position to stand up. And yeah, it's a lot easier to balance. And I love the position of the compi too. Even with a giant flare in his hand, he still manages to stand up. I doubt Ellie Sattler would be able to do that. The only downside to this figure is Ian Malcolm's glasses can be easily removed. And when I removed this figure from the packaging, the glasses literally flew off and I was trying so hard to find it. I thought I'd lose them forever, but I eventually found them. It took me like five minutes to find the glasses. But anyways, here's what his face looks like. It's a little bit more sloppy looking than Ellie Sattler, but it's still not that bad. When I say sloppy, the face print is like uh, made a little bit too much this way. I wish they would have aligned it a little bit better, but it's still not that bad. Aside from being crooked, the face print is pretty cool. It looks a lot like Jeff Goldblum and it's pretty good. The hair looks a lot like him too. 
They even have the silver necklace and the black shirt, black pants. The suit is accurate. My favorite accessory is the flare. It has super detailed smoke and then the flare itself. And it looks pretty good. I really like how they did that. Then here's his belt, his pants, and his boots. Or shoes. Uh, I don't know. Foot coverage. And yeah. Pretty cool. Ah! So that was the review, but before I go, let's go over some size comparison. So here they are next to Owen Grady, and they scale up pretty well. It's because, well, obviously they're both three and a quarter inch human figures. If anything, Owen is a little bit taller, but that's it. And finally, here they are next to the- <laughs> I'm sorry for scaring the crap out of you, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope you please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more Jurassic- <laughs> uh, uh, Here's the product demonstration. Oh, thank you.